12th of December, Monday. Let's take a look. But before, before we do that, let's take a look at what we need to take a look at, which are the swing days of last week, right? And also um, what happened on Friday. Now, let's see this. Okay, these are 5th of December. Now, every Monday, I give the swing days at the elite group, right? So these are Monday, Friday, Wednesday. Um, gold is Monday, Friday. Um, Euro dollar was Wednesday, SP 500 Tuesday, NASDAQ Thursday, Bitcoin Thursday. Now on this chart I've got just gold, Euro dollar, Dow Jones and Bitcoin. So we'll just check out those but you can go and see the SP 500 and NASDAQ yourselves. So if I take a look at gold quickly, I'll turn this into, I'll just get rid of these and turn this into a 15 minute chart. Now that's Friday, as you can see Friday we had a nice high there. And what I did say about that not this one let's get rid of that one okay it's this one all right so on this one as you can see gold was Monday Friday okay and that's Friday there that's Monday there so Monday was the high of the week big fall made the low of the week and then went all the way up there for a retest. Now I can just get rid of these, get rid of these, get rid of these as well. Now remember with gold, when the market goes up, we were talking about what we were talking about, selling it off. All right, so these were the zones we we're looking to sell off. And I did say the market should be coming up this week with the aspects, which it did on Thursday and on Friday, as you can see there, retesting that and selling off. So if the market goes back up again, we want to sell. So let's take a look at this today. The 57 is going to be the first support zone 1782 let's take a look at where that is 1782 is pretty much down here All right so 1782 that's going to be the first support zone there which looks pretty logical so the market should come down into this direction okay the 1782 to retest it and that's also like i said is looking feasible if you take a look at that Okay, this is also a nice zone where the market took off before. So coming into this zone from here, let me just put that there. Whoopsie daisy. There, that also gives a good supply zone, which covers that actually nicely. And that yellow line there is a fresh zone, uh, which is daily there. So if the market does come up into the weekly or the daily at Astro Hours. Selling it is not a bad idea. You can see we've got low swings here. So the market selling off is showing weakness and that's fine. On a pull up, we'd like to sell back down again. That's gonna be your weekly pivot or this zone there. Let me just put that in there or your daily there. All right, that'll be your Asia high. If the market wants to retest Asia you're gonna to have to take this into account. Stick that in there, which should be there. All right. So if we come up into these zones at Astro Hours, sellable to push down there. If we break this level, good, because we should head down, okay? Now this 57, 56, 17, 84 is on the weekly. So let's put that in there as well. 1782 1784 all right so we're going to take this into account as well and that's not a bad idea either right there so i'm going to extend this into there all right then we've got the daily plus the weekly and we've got the whole zone happening here and i can in fact put the zone right there okay that's it so that's the daily PSD, weekly PSD. If we go below that, great, because we want to come all the way down into this zone or even into that zone with gold. So we'll keep an eye on it. Okay. And down here, as you can see, we've got target for 52, 1760. We can also mark that in right here. And that doesn't look so far fetched. 1760 right into that zone there okay along the way we've got targets too so no big deal let's take a look at the euro dollar now the swing days let's turn this into a 15 minute chart as well 
Now the swing day, where are you? Oh, God. Okay, let's get rid of you. Let's put you on there. Right here, yeah, Euro Dollar Wednesday. Let's take a look. This is a 15 minute chart. That's Monday, Friday, Thursday, Wednesday. Okay, Wednesday was the low of the day. Let's get rid of these astro hours that we put on there while trading. Okay, so this is the, this is Wednesday, right? So Wednesday market makes a nice swing low all the way into Friday and then big down. Okay, so I talked about sell levels on Euro dollar as well. If you got the hours right around there, 715, 715, yes. Okay, because on the 9th Friday, I had 8.30 to 9.15, which is actually 7.30 to 8.15 on the platform because the platform is an hour behind me during winter times. And that's just 7.15, 7.30 right there. Okay. And then the market sizzles down, as you can see there. So let's get rid of these as well. The market nicely coming into there. Now with the Euro dollar, as you know, we're also sellers in this zone at Astro Hours. The market should come down. Nice little support of 62, which is 1.0514, which the market has already done. And in fact, has gone slightly below 1.05. Whoops, 1.05, 15 is just there, all right, 15, so the market's already done that slightly below, now if we break below this low here, this one from Friday, then the market should sizzle, sizzle down, but since we haven't gone any higher, I think we should sell on the push up, so if we get any, that would be good on the weekly, as you can see. The first support on the weekly is also right here, which is 65.82, which is 1.0512. So any leakage of price below 1.0512, right, which is there. So this, uh, if we break below this, that's it. It's going to be selling, um, I think. So what we got to do is if the market pushes up at Astro Hours, which we hope it does, it should give us an opportunity to sell it off. Where? Let me just check. That's pretty much a nice swing there. One. If we, yep, yeah, like, let's do this. I'm going to take this into account right there. So that'd be the daily plus this bar over here. If I want it to be a bit more like flexible I'd say there okay but at the end of the day if we get up into this zone we're sellers all right so that's how this so going into the daily pivot into this zone at Astro Hours, I'd be inclined to sell wouldn't be too bad to try it out here or the high of Asia as well if you want to do so um, which is right there as well okay so the, the weekly the white line here it's all good if it's an astro hour, if it's not an astro hour, don't mess with it because what you can do if it's not an astro hour, right? It can break down when it comes back up into this zone, then you can sell it off again, okay? Because we're expecting the market to push down, which is what I was saying last week as well, that we should be selling when the market pulls up. Let's take a look at US 30. Same thing here, that is really nice to see. As you can see, now with the US 30, right, this is an index, so you have to look for Tuesday and Thursday because I gave, what did I give you guys, NASDAQ. On Monday, I said swing day, NASDAQ, Thursday, SP500, Tuesday. So Tuesday and Thursday, what you need to take into account, that's your Thursday there, okay. Nice little high market retest, Friday falls off. Let's take a look at Tuesday, and Tuesday market makes the loop the low all right the sixth is the tuesday beautiful pull down the low of the week was there takes you all the way into thursday as well all right so that's good market retesting wednesday thursday then making that high 
Friday retest down. So what are we expecting with this? Well, one sell more. By the way, Mercury is going into retrograde today. What does that tell you? Well, in Capricorn, mm -mm. so what we want to do is sell. All right, so if the market raises its head up a little bit, you can sell it off. I'm all in favor of trying the daily and the weekly to sell. And if that matches an Astro Hour, well, great. We should fill in some gaps here. So if the market does come into this zone here, not a bad zone to sell off. Also, the weekly, obviously, is interesting for us. Always. Let me mark this in. Right there. Okay. So I'll use that zone as well. At Astro Hours, this will be good to sell. Breaking off the swings is nice. Closing below it. Any push up to, um, again, sell down is okay. You need to just be mindful of this little zone here. Um, on the daily, the market is just there. So don't exactly sell it there because it is a support level. But this is going to break down. We could go down to 27. It's not a bad target at all. Because if you take a look at 30, 27, that's 32 95 32,095 that's quite a bit down okay on the weekly let's see if we've got a closer target wow it's just pushing up so that's nice that's just nice we're just gonna just right at the tops there so selling here is good this is a new setup on the red line the blue line is still okay I said yes last week also we were at the tops it's worth selling here if you did so well done the market should come further down it's not a re it's not a wonder that I put these levels out there beforehand because we're looking to sell and when, when we start looking to sell we want to know where we're going to get to all right so selling in order to come down is going to be the way to go for us let's take a look at Bitcoin now with Bitcoin if you're following the videos I did say if it raises its head up you would you know we're sellers if it raises its head up by the way I don't do weekend videos I only work Monday to Thursday so Friday Saturday Sunday cryptocurrencies are always open but I am not right so this is the zone I was talking about if the market comes up you know we want to be selling we want to be pushing further down we're looking for instability in the market astrologically that's good also it just matches our mercury retrograde right now as well so the market retracing up into the mercury retrograde in cappy going down not such a bad idea after all all right so let's see what that 32 is that's 5434 on a monthly pst could it do that if it did that'd be awesome because then we'd be right wouldn't we Okay, so going down into this zone initially is also interesting for us. I talked about the 15,000 zone ages ago, said we'd get down here and it'd be good to buy some here because 15,000 I think is a good level for accumulation, but anything below that you want to be looking at also buying. We've got zones all the way into that 10,000 zone there. So market coming down into the zones here, I think is logical. On the weekly, that's 29, 15,000. 225 should be on your radar this week 15 225 let me put that there 15 225 what 15 2 2 5 there all right so let's put that there let's get rid of that okay and that's it basically all right, so that was the level we talked about, and the market coming up to resell there is good. If it goes back up again, I would be a seller at Astro Hours in the stones. Let me just get rid of this because these are now over. Do I have anything on the daily to look out for? Goodbye, kiss at 49 would not be so bad, which is 6,986. 16,986. Well, that's about the weekly there. All right, so keep that in mind. If it goes back up to the weekly, great. And then that's it, basically. All right. So Bitcoin still will looking to go down. If you're hodling it, I'd be patient with this a little bit more. Don't rush a trade because it'll just get you in late or too early. 
All right, just don't rush stuff. Don't be instinctive. Be smart. Wait for the right price, okay?